So this is the second time you're at the Eurovision. Uh, how high are the hopes in Malta for you? I think that the hopes in Malta have always been high for every contestant because they love the Eurovision contest so much. However, um, I think they do realize that the contest has changed a bit. Um, and especially in my regards, um, it has changed a bit since 2002. Um, uh, you know, there are more countries participating. We had to get through to the semi, uh, through to the final um, in the first semi-final, which was quite a hard job, um, uh, considering that you know the songs are so good, the contestants are so professional, and you know the, the bar is just raised so high. Everyone is like in this, in it to win it, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think. The hopes are a bit high because now we got through to the final. It has been um, many years since we've been in the final, so you know everyone's overjoyed. But just I'm going to do my best, mm -hmm. and then we'll see because it's the Eurovision Song Contest anyway. So you know it's always a bit crazy. <laughs> um, Malta is very known for Eurovision entries. How come it's uh, you're so passionate in Ma Malta about uh, the Eurovision? I think it's because we're an island, so you know we feel that we don't have any neighbors, we don't have any people who you know will give us votes just because their their countries are bordering with ours. So you know they feel proud that they're a little island and they still have a lot of talent, and that they go into this competition so brave. It's really admirable, you know, to see this, and also because we have a very strong sense of community in Malta. Um, we are all looking out for each other, we love to support each other, um, we like to criticize each other though as well so much and I think though that this sense of community is also why right now we're ranking as number one LGBTIQ um, country um, uh, which, which supports these rights you know I think that is where it's coming from as well we have a very strong sense of family and and community and uh, therefore you know it, it's it's very evident. Um, I was wondering at the last press conference there were a lot of questions political questions mm -hmm. and there were contestants um, <laughs> that uh, brought some political yeah. aspects um, on stage do you think the, uh, the Eurovision is a good um, surrounding for for questions like this or are you saying leave this out of the, the Eurovision I don't believe that the Eurovision should be politicized at all it is after all a contest which is I mean the slogan is saying come together you know all these different countries traditions um, cultures coming together in a whole melting pot in this one you know grand final contest um, and that should be the the idea you know with it all I think it's really not the platform to bring forth you know any political agenda or any disputes or any issues such as those because it doesn't do anyone any favors and you know we'll just leave that to the politicians to fight about um, we're making music we're spreading love you know we're being nice to each other I've met a whole lot of other contestants here almost all 42 of them um, 43 actually there was the Romanian as well who was super super nice and unfortunately he's not here with us um, and it's just been you know so nice to meet different people with different ideas with different personalities it's great you know that's what this is all about a couple of days ago you shared really good uh, personal uh, mm -hmm. news, so um, you're expecting a baby, congratulations Thank on this. You. So I was wondering, do you have like your own backing singer within you now? <laughs> Is it already responding to your music? <laughs> I think he does enjoy the music. Um, <laughs> we'll say that he's not singing or else we'd be breaking the rules there because we'd have an extra voice on stage. Um, no, I think he's really enjoying the experience with me. I mean, he's already traveled to a lot of uh, different countries and he's been on the biggest stage, you know, in the world and on the biggest TV show in the world. So he's going to have a lot to talk about with his friends when he grows up. <laughs> yeah, there's no baby that can say this about himself already. As I think new... there have been a few women who were pregnant in Eurovision, but I'm not sure how far gone they were. <laughs> okay, so good luck uh, with the final and thank you so much for the interview. Thank you very much and thank you to all the people who are watching NDR in Germany. Thank you.